All right, the topic for the day is tissue expanders. What are they? How do we use them? Well, tissue expanders are, like the name implies, a device to expand the tissue. And we use it very often in the breast cancer patient for a whole bunch of reasons. And at the time of the mastectomy, or even after the mastectomy, we'll place a tissue expander in that same space. Now, in this day and age, the right answer, at least in our practice, and really for most people, is the tissue expander above the muscle. Why is it important to do it above the muscle? Well, tissue expanders expand the tissue. And when you're expanding the muscle, that causes a lot of pain. It's very uncomfortable. And in this day and age, to be honest, the pre-pectoral reconstruction is really the best way to do it. I think the submuscular reconstruction where patients had tissue expander placed below the muscle is something that's a little bit antiquated, a little bit outdated, and not something that a lot of folks are doing anymore. If you do have a tissue expander uh, or an implant below the muscle, there are ways to change the uh, implant to above the muscle, again, using a tissue expander. And so the tissue expander really allows us to control that space where the breast used to be. At the time of the mastectomy, the breast is removed. And in that same space, the tissue expander can be placed. And it allows us to control the expansion, control the amount of volume that's put in. Now, at the time of the mastectomy, we'll fill the tissue expander up about halfway on average. You don't want a lot of compression on the mastectomy skin. What you don't want is to hurt the mastectomy skin, cause any mastectomy skin flap necrosis. We will use drains, and drains are there to remove fluid, to avoid a fluid collection, to avoid an infection. Now, for most folks, about a month later, we're doing the expansion, and we do that in the office, and we place a needle in the skin and expand the tissue expander. And we'll do that until we're about the size that the patient wants to be. And that's really a conversation between me and the patient. There really is a lot of shared decision-making that goes into that part of it, whether it's filling you to a B cup or a C cup. That's something that we can decide together. About a month later, we'll take you back to the uh, operation uh, and remove the tissue expanders and replace them with implants. Now, in some folks, we'll actually replace the tissue expanders with a deep flap. That's known as a delayed immediate reconstruction. Very common in patients who undergo radiation treatment. Very common in patients who can't decide whether they want an implant reconstruction or a uh, deep flap reconstruction. So there's a lot of uh, possibilities the tissue expander opens up for us when we're trying to figure out what the right type of reconstruction is. We've even done patients who've had prior reconstructions or top surgery where we've had a tissue expander place as a part of the reversal of the top surgery, uh, a detransition surgery. So a lot of applications for tissue expander. It's something that's been used in plastic surgery for many, many years in reconstruction of all types of areas of the body, but very commonly done in a breast cancer reconstruction and of course can be used with an implant or a deep flap reconstruction. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to contact us at www.mwbreast.com or email us at info at mwbreast.com. Thanks.